So we're gonna watch the Genua video. Nobody's seen this video yet, so we can watch it, right? Is there anyone else joining, or is it just me for this? Right now it's just you, but I think Evan is gonna be here. Red, you should jump into Official release of Draft Arena. Okay, so you, you gotta be... You go on advertisements. So you gotta be level rank 40 to do Draft Arena. Hey, Reiner, thanks for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. Only Dude, available so for two Draft hours, Arena. three times a day. I, I You know, it's... I'm glad, right? It's something different. It, it, it'll be fun for a few days. Hopefully, hopefully, it's got some staying power and it gives us something to do. Well, they they are know. doing rotate. They're doing rotations now. Like so, they changed like almost all the builds for all the characters. So it's completely different than when we did the content creator battle, right? Um, mm -hmm. And they actually got rid of certain characters. Like Shadow Knight is not in it anymore. They got rid of it. Um, and, and they added I, I, new characters as well. Didn't I hear that they added multiples of the same character? Like, you know, mm -hmm. you, 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 yep. somebody picks Belly in and it could be a protection set. It could be a injury set. You don't really yeah, know. Yeah, there's an injury solitary in there as well as uh, a speed one. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that they show you the stat line, but not the sets. Mm -hmm. So you just look and go, huh, is it the faster one or the slower one? Oh, that's kind of sad. I, I kind of wish they didn't show you the stats, but then that would actually be the burden of knowledge would be like really high then because you'd have to actually sit there and memorize what the fixed st uh, speed breakpoints are, like how Pero was the fastest in the in the old draft mode. You got to realize white base that adding rewards to RTA would involve setting up a new UI, adding new stuff to it, and they are clearly strapped for manpower right now so i wouldn't expect them to yeah. do a lot of things that don't directly want... make the money they, they're they're focusing on their maximum return on investment with the uh resources that they have available to them right now well we'll take a look at it in a little bit but keep it in the back of your mind chat um i didn't point it out in my impressions video but this video that we got today for the new character very clearly was hastily assembled because it looks way lower budget than normal. Yeah. Like the graphics and the text and everything and the way that it's edited, it, it very looks very shoddy compared to what it used to be. I don't know if they should randomize stats based on certain intervals based on averages. And that was a whole ass sentence. See, the problem with randomizing stats is people already blame losing on RNG. So I don't know that they want to make it that much more winning is that much more luck of the draw dependent. Added hero change functionality once per battle and on all three drafted heroes replaceable with three new heroes. This is actually really powerful by the way, the hero change function. Yep. Because when you mulligan, the, the, uh, the three characters you throw away cannot be drafted by either player ever again so like if you have a character that you don't want but yep. you would also not want to play against it if you throw it away you could just draft knowing that there's no way they could have it yep i don't like that unit and i like my opponent having it even less <laughs> uh i greater if if a card game has a mulligan i've used it oh yeah and here we go with solitaria one has abyssal crown and the other one has fairy tale yeah, the fairy tale is the speed one, the abyssal crown is the injury one, which is super weird. Yeah, that is a little weird. 14 new heroes added and four removed. And a lot of people are like, why would they remove oh. heroes? Why would they remove heroes? But I think it's good, right? They're showing that they're not just going to slowly add more heroes until it's done. They're going to take some out, put some in. And I really hope this is Smilegate testing the waters on doing rotating hero bands for regular RTA, because I think that would be great. I think if every week or every couple of weeks the rta roster is a little bit different that would be pretty cool i actually this is actually really important here rimuru and amelia appearing in this image lets you know that collab heroes are in that was one of the biggest complaints that people had is that draft mode doesn't have collab heroes mm, valid valid so now draft mode does have collab units that, that's why rimuru is there having rimuru and yeah, amelia really there lets you know collab heroes are there that's a good catch, man. I didn't even see that. That's that's 
Well, yeah, because Karina is was the biggest omission from the old draft mode. Like, yep. th it's so easy to cleave your opponent in old draft mode, and everyone's like, cool, sure, it'd be great if I had Karina, because that would solve all my issues, but she's not in the <laughs> draft ball. So, like, what else is there to stop my opponent from just going all in on cleave? Even me, I don't play cleave on ladder. I cleave all the time in draft mode, because th the things that stop it from being ridiculous just aren't in the mode. No, dude, she needs to be in the draft pool. Like, no, I, you guys, man, can... she doesn't need to be in the draft pool. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think she's a necessary evil. Uh, do I think yeah. she's like too good? Yeah, but she's a necessary evil. I know you said he's not a professional voice actor, but I love this guy's voice. Dude, this guy, yeah, this guy is so good. Like, I did some research for this guy. Yeah. If you guys don't know, point, he's an improvisational comedian out of San Francisco, California. Hey, get a load of these. He's, he's just a, he's a, a comedy just guy. He's like literally gets up on, on stage God. like on Broadway. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play a clip of him. Sue had a clip of him. We, we'll, we'll pull it up and show it off here. It's on his IMD, IMDB page. He's like, he does other stuff on the side. Like his body of work is really strange. Like, so he's on like some Disney channel like shows for kids like as just like uh, a character he's done voices for the sims he's been in every kung fu panda movie but he's a different character yeah. in every movie um and what else has he done he's also on this show that i i've never heard of wayne on amazon prime he's like apparently the standout in that show mm -hmm. so what do you think about the balance patch coming up tomorrow right i mean clearly Car clarissa is the winner of this balance patch Oh yeah, dude! Twenty get the extra ten percent uh, yeah. attack and speed for your wyvern team. Let's go. Red's gonna build a three hundred speed Clarissa. No, know. no, I think the clear winner of the balance patch is Requiem Rowan. I think she's gonna probably be the strongest thing out of the patch. I think she's gonna be really, really strong for Cleave, but I think Flurry is gonna be the one that everybody has got issues with. Flurry's biggest issue is her speed and her cycling before, so they took her cycling away, but now they're putting some speed back. I, I think Flurry gonna cause a cause a lot of shakeup. We'll we'll see. Um, yep. I would let I I it wouldn't surprise me if Clurry was the the best thing. Mm -hmm. I think of these five that are on the, the screen, I think Lulica has the the potential to be the the worst one. Like I think she's probably the one that's going to be the the worst, worst, worst of the five. Worse than Clarissa. Well, because well, because Cla <laughs> Clarissa, because Clarissa's changes at least let her be a lot better for new players in Wyvern. Like she's really strong, I think, for new players now for Wyvern. Like, cause before, um, you basically had to guarantee you got a kill with hysteria or she just was completely useless. Like I think now getting any kill whatsoever, like even on the smaller ones is just value. You don't have to kill the big ones, right? Cause it'll get a refresh no matter what dies. So she's yeah. just more consistent for Wyvern. Now, so Ra I Raider does have a good point, right? If somebody picks flurry, they're pretty much screaming. I have the gear to build a 300 speed flurry. And you better just ban it, or you're gonna lose. Yeah, it, it's that's what I'm saying. Like I'm, I was originally when the balance patch came out, I was like when it was first shown, I thought that Clurry was gonna be the winner of the patch. But like now that I have had like a week or so to think about it, I think Clurry is like middle of the pack, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. even though she has the potential to be the best one. I think Ro Rowana just seems like the the safest pick for best one. And then I am so Charlotte. excited about Rowana, but yeah. And then Charlotte is the second most likely one to see play. Um, happy but watcher trap, said why? I attacked this tower. Trap, did, did I, hang on, did, hang on. This is important. Watcher Harold, you weren't in the stronghold, were you? Because if you were the stronghold, you are the luckiest son of a bitch on this planet. You need to like leave the stream go out and buy a lottery ticket this instant oh just in the tower okay <laughs> Hold on. but trap trap says i disagree i think we'll see a lot of counter floors but why all of her changes yeah. only work on her turn yeah i i'm i'm, I'm not sure I, I agree with that but we'll see Dude, how many counter... people have a 260 speed counter flurries doesn't have to be 260 speed why do you think it has to be 260 What do you mean by I'm yapping? Sue yapping this time.
What do you think of LQC? Is she uh she gonna show I, any uh yeah. any, any life to her? I I think so. I think she's already in a in a solid spot. I've I been using really her good, a little bit. I have a really good LQC, so I hope she is. Well, because LQC is really good with Carmen, and Carmen is heavily uh, played right now. And on hate, top of that, like she has good team. matchups. She has good matchups against like Abyssal, right? She has a good matchup against Urban Shadow Shoe. Like, if you could get to her turn, then she's she usually does really good work. The problem is that it's hard to get to her turn. With the change to her imprint, you actually get to eke out a little bit more like defense and HP. And for some people, that's all you really need. You know, I started to laugh about it, and then I started to think about it, and and now I'm like really, really disturbed by the potential cycling of Flurry and the healing and having her on Rocket Punch. <laughs> Are you though? Because I'm putting her in my revenge set, bro. Revenge really? set, Rocket Punch, Flurry. Hey Evan, welcome to Crazy. Let's see. We'll talk more I, in detail I, about this. In I don't minute. think I don't know if you could actually get a lot of value out of her on Rocket Punch. Like maybe, but I mean a 3k Pillis hits like a truck, but she hits once per turn and she's kind of slow. A 250 flurry is probably gonna hit with with, with you know maybe eighteen hundred to two thousand defense, but she's gonna hit four or five times. Evan, <laughs> so with yeah, that rocket punch. I actually think this artifact is so good. This change. Thanks for the stretch jar fade. Victorious flag. I think this thing is so nuts. <laughs> so uh, didn't they just literally make a second, um, what do you call it, um, symbol of unity? I mean, you know, without the chance to hit, but the same kind. It's a five. It's a five star that, artifact that's, that with the, with that's all what the attack points. Saying. He's saying B bis for who? That one I don't know yet, but. On paper, it just seems so strong. The problem is, like you said, who's getting it? Because it, it, it's not a symbol, right? It's 16% damage, 16% damage reduction, but it can only be used by fire, ice, or earth heroes. Oh, that's right. They didn't take the uh, elemental restriction off of it. Yeah. No, they took part of the elemental restriction off of it. You yeah. don't have to hit opposite elements anymore. But... Yeah, it, but yeah, it's just straight up. It, it's like a Draco plate. But in some cases, just better. I mean, I would rather just have a raw 16% damage reduction than having the, the damage reduction only on crits. Okay, lots of mages somehow changed their birthdays. Yep. They didn't there change their birthdays, it's just their, their birthday is better. It, the there, birthday there, is more better. They didn't change. There wasn't a single one of these changes that wasn't a net gain for like every stat on them, was there? No, they're oh. all, they're all, they're all, imp the only character, this one, FNL Pisces Mage is the only stat line that actually changed, and you might be mad about it. Like, everyone else is just, they kept what they had and got more. The Pisces Mage, they took away 20% critical hit chance, but let's be honest, there's only two Pisces Mages, Harado and Ogslots, you're not playing crit chance on them. Um, and then they basically like, well, here's like four speed and like 800 HP. Like I think that's an insane trade. If I'm I'm a a non DPS character, I will gladly give up twenty percent critical hit chance to get eight hundred HP and some speed. Easy, easy tra trade. Yeah, that was good. FML collab soon? No, no collab soon. I don't think collab ever. I think Epic Seven's done with collabs. Well, we will see. It oh. it depends. Dude, dude, now's it your ch now's your chance to get uh get Wings of Light and Shadow. True. Poor Illinav, man. Dead or dirty, man. I I love this character. I just think she's just not usable. Like people could say you could play her into Laya, but it feels so inconsistent. Yo, little bit in creation destruction. Everybody needs more of those. Yeah, right. It's gotta be like one of the worst combination matters that's ever. That's not tomorrow. That's like a freaking whole ass week away. Oh, well, I guess I got time to save up Sky Stones. Drop rate up, not limited. In case anybody was curious, Genua will not be a limited unit. Not worth the pickup, in my opinion. Yeah, he looks pretty good anti yeah, I like him. I like video him. Video was minute and thirty nine seconds. Man, <laughs> that's actually a record that. for them. Usually, it's like two two and a half minutes.
I don't think they've ever had a one minute video. I think I was talking to Divine earlier. I was like, you know, the one minute video has never been one minute. He was like, if the one minute video was actually one minute, we have a problem because hey. the, the game has no content. Rero, thank you for the sub, buddy. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate that. So nice of you. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, Reddos <laughs> and FML collab. <laughs> um, oh my god, that's pretty funny. Can you guys give me a TLDR of how good this new unit's going to be versus Cleave? I think if you draft him with Karena, he'll be very good against Cleave, but uh, I don't know. I uh, Sue, correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't really gone through his kit that much. I guess we can jump down to him, but. My knee-jerk reaction to him is this is an insanely broken unit for 2019-2020 Epic 7. <laughs> and that I'm really just not sure if he is going to be more than just yeah, a, this he, is a fun he unit is kind to draft, of a... but he's not super impactful now. I've, I've heard some people like, he's the most broken crap ever, and I just, I'm just not seeing it. I think in my me. opinion, it depends on... I don't, I don't think he's going to be broken. I think he'll be decent anti cleave, and I think it also depends on the order of the procs. Because, like, if he gets lethal damage, he gets immortality, right? Is there yes. really no and if he goes below 50, him? if he goes below, I don't think so. I think it was only on YouTube, which is why oh it took God. me so long to see it. But Matt, if he goes done. below 50%, he cleanses all debuffs from himself, right? Yeah. And gets and then, himself rage. But if if the cleanse happens before the immortality, it'll be great. Because even if, like, uh, let's say, Isaria unbuffables him, and it pushes him below 50, he'd cleanse That's it right. and then proc if the you... immortal buff. But if it doesn't work in that order, it's not that good. Right, I don't actually know if, if, if Ran doesn't... All... Like, maybe you have the realist Ran, but you have to remember, he's got the highest HP total. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Trap Tricks. For... I think it depends on how the order of operations on his two procs work <laughs> if it can be used in cleave it will be used in cleave that's right. yeah if you uh, need trap. Something so the thing well, is when he goes under 50 percent health he gets 50 percent cr you've come to the right and he place. cleanses all yeah he comes so yeah. like even yeah. if Rand yeah. strips him right I like if he can cut and take the turn right it's also he yeah he doesn't start with immortal reason. he gets immortal when he's gonna Genius. die if i remember correctly also his artifact you can pull it up yeah tra uh, trap the artifact it's that he has on his banner also another. gives him a ma uh it gives him a Genius. massive barrier when he cr pushes he a vampire. so like even if he went to one family. hp with no immortality he would have a huge barrier on top of him and and possibly take the turn bro you're saying how do we cut through au fiend i just wouldn't draft him into au fiend it's that simple <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Like, Any, yeah. Anytime trap, so a brand think, new think... unit and the answer is just don't use them versus this unit that's used all the fucking time. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, even then, it depends. Like, it depends, right? Because he, even though he only would get 25 CR, he still gets 20% speed buff. Uh, my advice to you, Angel, is this banner is three weeks long. Give it at least a week, if not two. Let the whales go out there and test the hell out of it. And yeah. let people make reaction videos and first use videos. And then make follow-up videos saying, yeah, I was wrong or right. And, and see what people think about the unit. And then make an informed decision. Unless you're like me and you have impulse control issues, then pull away. Because Rusty. even if he's bad, he can, he'll just get buffed later. No unit that no five-star unit is released bad and stays bad i mean they, they they always get buffed a little bit later on it may take a couple of months it may take a couple of years but sooner or later you'll get to use the new unit but if you're really trying to play the smart long game and conserve give people that don't care about throwing money at this game a chance to run it and see yeah rusty you're asking about what about politis uh so abyssal and politis have the same passive so it's the same thing like that that's what we're talking about. We're talking about how good is the character into Abyssal. Um and I think it depends entirely on what's on the Cleave player's team if they're trying to cleave. Like if they have something that self pushes like on like after Ran, like like Ludwig, for example, maybe. It depends on order of operations, like Evan said. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
what you do is you bring Ran, right? And then you bring Emma Rowana. So you unable to awaken as a vampire lord. Right after. He lived as an exile. Yeah, a lot's gonna matter. A lot's gonna matter on multipliers because the, the multipliers in the video surprisingly aren't that impressive. Like it's like 18k on the S3, uh, basically true damage, which is it's fine, right? Like, it's not, true damage. Is good. Yeah, it's like it's fine. If anything, the splash damage is the problem I have. The splash damage is like 2k, and I'm like, wow, that's actually garbage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One thirteen speed is not super impressive for a thief. I mean, it's yeah, fast, he's green but violet. It's not he's got fast. he's got violet. He's, stats. he's got violet stats. Yeah, yeah. Violet um, has above average everything and the absolute worst defense in the history of Epic Seven. Like yeah. actually, just dog tier defense. He's got the uh, he's got the ultimate uh, the ultimate whale imprint. Sixteen point eight percent crit chance if you buy those imprints. Yeah, like I said, so it, it's that's, depending. That's forty percent crit right out of the gate if you if you triple yeah. S him. Does I, does I his uh, does his passive have a a non attack animation? Does yes, it, it does. Off? It's a, it's it's the animation where he runs his his hands through his hair uh. when he procs it. <laughs> Man, four seventy three <laughs> defense, five star fire elemental. Feet. Net marble guy knows what I like and can increase his critical. 473 defense is low enough that flat defense is better than percent, isn't it? Mm, they're the same, roughly. Hit chance. They're Drew's almost exactly the same. Red says. I no. think Red says percent no, is like <laughs> skill is two. like. I think it's like a one percent better difference kind of thing. Yeah. It's, 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 upon well, receiving immortal or upon receiving lethal damage, grants immortality to the caster. This seems to be an ongoing theme with vampire units, right? Immortality can only be activated once per battle. After being attacked when the health is 50% or less, activates Plan A. That's really the name they came up with. Plan A can only be activated once every five turns, and Plan A dispels all debuffs from the caster and then gives them Enrage. So right here's why we got the uh, buff to Enrage, right? They needed to make that skill not like seem like such a waste on the new unit. So it's enraged for two turns and increases combat readiness by fifty percent. Holy shit! So yeah, he's going to cycle fast. Yeah, it's like I said. If you actually give him this, it's. I a mean, 50%. it's every five turns, right? That's why I said he might it's be good four, against four. Four. Yeah, it's four if you you have yeah. a max. Yeah, it's but, four with the turn now. Cool turn. But now. you have to remember. So if you, when he gets he plan A, right? It's fifty percent CR, damage, which is twenty five percent under abyssal, castle. but. He also gets a 20% speed buff. Like, people are forgetting that. So, yes, even if you get cut in half, depending on how fast he is. Yeah, it's two thirds right. of a regular Immortality speed buff. Can yeah, only he, be he could get, yeah, he battle. could cut. After being attacked, when health is 50% or less, activates. Yeah, because regular eight. speed buff is 30, plan and enraged is now 20. So, White Base called him Fire Karena. You know who Fire Karena dies to? Karena. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 yeah. The, the, the things that I think are for two turns before increase. <sighs> it, it sucks because it's like the thing. What, the thing that what? I think's the worst thing about him is that this this right here, this number sixty, is colored red and not green. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That that's true. But it sucks because like the things that he's has difficulty against are abyssal, he's in combat ready, navy right. captain Landy and Karina, and it's like, oh wait, yeah. you mean the units that are literally like the most common everywhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean that that's his biggest Plan drawback. Like, I think on paper he's times. absolutely ludicrous. It's just when you start thinking about, hey, he's got to play against Still these three things. Uh, I'm less enthusiastic about, but we'll we'll see. But like based on that animation, it looks like it goes after the immortal. Like with K Ron, right? If you proc K Ron's Immortal, it's like instantaneous, right? So if there was an a, activation ability that happened at the same time, it would be after the Immortal is put on. Yeah. Wouldn't that still mean that would still mean that Unbuffable kind of just screws in? I mean, if Unbuffable put, already screws okay, K Ron. So, so buff block, I mean, same thing with K Ron, same thing with Kane. He will still avoid taking lethal damage. Buff block right, he won't, won't stop that. So he'll go to one health, but buff block will prevent the immortal from going on. So one more hit and he's done. Yeah, what Red said, Monk is OP versus everyone. Like, if Monk actually... Monk is this really weird feast famine character where, like, if she's actually usable, she's the most broken unit in the game. 
<laughs> I love that people still think that Monk isn't a problem and that, you know, they can just handle her. Yeah, it's just Monk has, like, a low win rate, and I'm like, yeah, it's because people pick Monk in situations where they shouldn't pick Monk. If you pick Monk in a spot where it's good, it's just absolutely broken. Like, whenever you watch Elmage pick Monk, it's like a free win. It's like, how does he lose? <laughs> Yeah, Monk already counters him. Whether it, whether it stops knew, his funny that you, That's funny that you think Monk is going to land Seal because I have a Monk and mine has never landed Seal when I really needed it. So we got uh, we got skill three bite, which always reminds me of this this meme. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I people like oh you are ugly. Oh, I was like, I think she's a cutie. <laughs> I mean, forehead. I mean, yeah, I mean, she's got she got a forehead as wide as the Dragon Valley, sure. <laughs> but anyway, Yulha's not I, ugly, dude. There's there's definitely uglier people in this game than Yulha. <laughs> not my first pick for sure, but I don't no, think she's no, ugly. No, 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 no. Uh, she she is no Luluka at the beach. I'll give you that. Uh, hey, Leslie Shadow and. What is that, Rebelli? Yeah, Rebelli. Thank you guys for the follow. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. So Bite attacks the enemy with a sword and recovers health of the caster. So he's got a little bit of a self heal in the S3. Penetrates the defense. Now it just says penetrates. It doesn't say by how much. So the assumption is that it's a hundred percent defense pen, like Strays, like Watcher, like Hua Young. Critical hit deals additional damage proportional to the caster's attack to all enemies except the target. So he full penetrates the target and then he splashes attack based damage to everyone else. And the amount recovered is proportional to his attack. So you're going to stack the shit out of attack on a unit that you also want to be fast and also need 100% crit chance on. Kind of stat we hungry. We don't know how fast he needs to be. Like, I, I mean, I'm giving himself a speed buff is nice, but you know. Also making sure his fragile thief stat ass doesn't just die is also an issue. He's got high health, but man, well, that if they have not, if they have fragile. nothing to inter if they have nothing to interact with him at base speed, plan mm -hmm. A just gives you the turn. Like if, assuming there's no CR, like yep. nothing that, that stops your CR. Three. Like if, if off rip attack if you're playing versus uh like an AoE comp or like a cleave comp, if there's no CR reduction, even at base speed, if they give you plan A, it's his turn. Red, hear me out. You run a crit neck and the imprint, and then you have gear with no crit on you. But, but he it literally says when a critical hit. Oh, yeah, actually, whatever. Not, fine. Nacho. I, no, I, got, I gotta ask you, oh, Nacho. Tell actually, me, who's dead in the story? How, how'd that work out? I, actually, that you guys might be onto something. <laughs> actually, you guys might be onto something. Crit neck and just go all attack for centers. Just, just say F crit damage. Okay. the enemy with a sword and recovers Red, health of the cast. Don't worry, surely the target's Epic defense. 8 will come to deliver us. A critical at some hit point. deals additional damage. Didn't Yula die? To the cast. I thought for sure Yula died. No, she's still there with B. No, They're she's like still alive. Yeah, she's still it was alive. So she hard just to pay attention with... to Chapter 4. I swear I thought she was dead. No. Who has died? Didn't Zahak die? Yeah, he, her died, and B who are uh, arguing about how to Lua run the died, wall. Yeah. Yeah, B who and, and, uh, and Yoha are just arguing about how they should run their their, their their country. Amount recovered increases proportional to the okay, caster's Okay, so this attack. is the hit. And I tell you, damage is not very good on the splash. Still, the splash obviously doesn't pen defense. <laughs> recovered that increases Yuffie took like 1800 to damage. <laughs> uh, splash is pen defense by 70%. I think that's a fixed mechanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Theoretically. That's what, 13807 into a mitigated Arrowell, 3k of that damage went into Arius, so that's what, about 17k damage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it on looks like it's 17... 17k on 100% pen skill? With high yeah. attack? It's like 17 to 18, this is like where the, this video is. 13807 plus 3451... Is 17, and how much is her mitigation, her damage mit? Security state, 15. Or 15, yeah. It's 19.8k damage if 
Armin wasn't there at all. Yeah, the defense buff doesn't matter because it's 100%. Yeah, the defense buff doesn't do shit because it's 100% pen. Now, the defense buff does impact the splash because the splash is only a 70% pen, but still, it's a 70% pen into a 50% defense buff. It, it's still not... 60. 60. 60? All defense pen, defense buff is 60? 60. Okay. So that just about compensates for the pen, I guess. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I'll wait until somebody produces the numbers because he this character is so reliant on numbers. Like if his numbers are, are bad, then like he's just bad. Like no matter how yeah. cool the base kit is, if the numbers are bad, there's just no saving it. So that went from that that, that put about three k into Armin. So about eighteen. About Red, surely he was already injured each, from LRK, so. bro. Guys, that that's only like thirty five. That's only like three thousand to three thousand to thirty five hundred with the damage. It's only about a four thousand pop on on a nineteen k yeah. hit. Only doing four thousand pop damage. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's the thing I'm concerned about. But then this again, like we, we <laughs> this like, is really we, bad. Like we have definitely seen trailers where the damage is like. Remember OG Hua Young? Like OG Hua Young was not that that crazy damage in the trailer. If I recall correctly, like I, I just I never trust their trailers because their damage is like never what it actually looks like. True. Yeah, it was, I'm actually kind of amused that they put Armin on there. I mean, I know they tried to pick like all these meta units to show how good he is into meta units, but you know, Boy, I'm do surprised I hate this they team. even put Armin in there. Yeah, see what Miss Delic said. Yeah, Teyu's trailer had him basically one shotting Apocalypse Ravi. Like, ain't mm. no Teyu ever one shotting Apocalypse Ravi. Right, right. The the, the 600 defense Apoc Ravi. Man, um, <laughs> Red had a good point too. All of that shit was into elemental advantage on that Lou Lucar. Yeah, that's yeah, I mean, the problem. He, he's got ten. There was another one where the damage. Health, so yeah, there was another one where the damage was less and in the Still. trailer than it actually ended up being. I don't remember who it was. Hey, you know, yeah, it was Karina. It was Karina. Everybody was like, "Oh, Karina's gonna be shit." Look at Not me. <laughs> I was like, they were like "Oh, this be is ridiculous." A, this is only a PVE unit. That's why they put Wyvern in there. Remember? This yeah, this is did. my favorite part of the video. You ready for it, Sue? Increases proportional yeah, here, to the caster's goes. attack. Kills Lulacar. Oh, missed it. Freaking, uh... I'm on computer. Amount recovered increases proportional to the caster's attack. You can do it. I thought it was a counter, but she just naturally is taking a turn. It's like, like, yeah. uh... Abyssal Euphine was right. They're getting ready to take a turn. And they're like, quick, cut away. <laughs> Euphine's gonna kill the unit we're promoing. <laughs> Skill one. I know. Ah, right? uh, they've gotten formulaic with this. The one match at the end is where they pull all the stuff from. Yeah. Like all all the all the skill previews, they are all pulled from what the one match that they put at the end. Like it used to be like two matches at the end, and like they would mix them around of where you would see the skills from, or like maybe it'd be a take that wasn't one of the two matches. Now it's you get one thing, and all the skills are pulled from that one thing. Yeah, the data mine on her mod on his mods will be out soon, I'm sure, but. You, you can kind of tell, I mean, with 100% pen to do that kind of damage and the pop being so weak, I mean, in, unless this guy's just not built well at all, like he's built with like 3k attack or something, his mods have got to be garbage. Look, all I'm saying, uh, Sakai Senpai, was when Espa came out, there was only two Espa girls that I thought were usable, and it's Winter and Karina. Winter was worse than I projected by a, a good amount but she's yeah. still at least usable barely I, I but like I, I, I thought karina was ridiculous yeah i i thought karina was ridiculous I, I i was in i was in the karina doesn't look good camp too i'll admit it and, i uh, uh i at least i at least ready, i wasn't bro. there saying ning ning looks amazing <laughs> yeah I, I i said i said giselle was absolutely terrible when I I think I Giselle's just her. a oh. Giselle's just a crappier Ludwig for people that really hate Ludwig, and that's why I ran Giselle. She's still I think she's one of, if not my highest gear score unit. I got like a four sixty five gear score Giselle. Yeah, I mean I I don't know I don't I had fun have... I I mean when, when Ahmed was a thing it was really fun cleaving with Giselle, but yeah. I mean I even pulled a dupe rocket punch because I knew that artifact 
was going to be broken. Yeah, what what Ning what what uh, what Nacho said is correct. Yeah, I I I remember my review of Ning Ning was if you don't have DJB, this is a great budget option because yeah, yeah, DJB was absolutely played heavily when Ning Ning came out. Like he was it not a very right. complicated unit too. I mean, you really had to understand that unit's mechanics. Well, yeah, because the yeah. meta the meta when Ning Ning came out was Zio had just first come out, so it was Conquer Louis' first pick. Zio to counter it, and then the counter to Zio was DJB to get your your Conqueror Lilius back to assert dominance mm -hmm. over the the battlefield to gain control. Yep. Skill one taste test activates the enemy by dashing towards them, and increases attack of the caster for one turn. Man, I guess it is an S one skill. So when the caster is already yeah, in yeah. rage, activates by... Oh, okay, so when he's in rage, yeah, he, gets he gets, S3 uses time. S3 every time he uses every. S1, right? Yep. Bite can only be activated once per turn during the caster's turn, so counter set on this guy no sucks ass. Yeah, yeah. They just there's, basically, there's, they, I mean, that was a really wordy way to just say, don't run him on counter. Yeah, it's the same as Zio, dude. Like, taste, taste test is the same as uh, whatever Zio's S, uh, S1 is. It's like whatever into oblivion. That's the same wow. wording. I don't think I've seen a bigger waste of 10 souls in my life. You go from attack buff hey, to greater no, attack buff. It's got attack pop. There's not, yeah, there's not. He's, I gonna, actually buy, don't, he's gonna hit them, greater attack buff, and then pop for damage. Yeah, and then bite, yeah. That, like, I it's, don't think this is a bad soul burn at all. Tristan. It's only 20%. I mean, I think it's, it's a 20% it's, it's only difference. 20%. It's only, it's only 20%. So yeah, it's only so the my 6k attack. So you got so 5,000 attack. Saying, you're saying 20%. Most of the time when you go for a damage amp, it's like not even that insane. Like, I urban mean, if shatter, you're, if urban you're shatter five, shoe. If you're a 5k um, attack, it's an extra 1,000 attack. I'll give you Like, that. urban shatter shoe is like you're spending 10 souls for like an extra 6% health scaling. Like, it's not... It, like, 20% attack is, is fine for 10 souls. Oh, yo. Van Vandal hit the nail on the head. Can you imagine if it could activate oh. not on his turn and you ran this fucker on dust? Oh, bro, this, char this, char if this character <laughs> could activate. Hilarious. That would be hilarious. Bro, if this character could proc on off turns, like, this character would be just so wonky on counter because it's just like, oh, every time you hit him, he just counters with bite and full heals. Oh, like, oh hey. my god, it'd be so absurd. Hey, you know what you could do on him, right? Because it activates bite as an extra attack not so would that count as a using another skill because what i'm thinking is would that give you two ch two chances for rnl to proc the activation of bite to have a chance uh, rnl rnl's start of turn not st skill usage okay yeah it's an extra attack it's not as an extra turn okay yeah oh well oh, you, you could you proc hard, rnl right? you could proc rnl and then do another s1 s3 Right, but you'll you only uh, have one chance to block R and L instead of two, like Rand gets two. Right. Yeah, right. Not, but you will get um you'll run down your enrage, because I think it only lasts two turns, right? On a yeah. four turn cooldown. I, I wanna see somebody try to play but, this yeah, guy like could. I, I want to see somebody try to play this guy really fast because, like, in theory, if he yeah. gets like a turn, if his multipliers are good, you could just run him fast like a gala. You use bite to pick off a key target. And I then, agree, like, Windrider. Yeah. yeah, and then there, there, there are only Windrider. three art. There are only three thief artifacts in this in this game, right? There's evasion artifacts for evasion thieves, and there is a uh, Windrider for attack based damage thieves, and um, yeah. But like, could you imagine this character on Windrider? Yeah, where one just jumped where, down my fucking head. Tired. Yeah, I just want to see somebody <laughs> play him fast, use the S3, pick up a kill, go into Windrider, oh, no. and then they knock you out of stealth and put you under 50% to try to get to your character, and you're like, cool, it's my turn again, I'll just kill somebody again and go back into Windrider. Man, like, I, 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 yeah. I think he's good. I don't know, but yeah. Once again, a thief that uses Windrider, a semi-limited artifact, and I say semi-limited because Windrider is not tied to any unit. You'll never wait, have wait. a banner with Windrider on it. The only way you get Windrider is if it's in the powder shop or you just randomly luck sack and pull it. You can't even do a custom summon and get your ass Windriders because it's not tied to any unit. I thought when it was in the powder shop, everybody bought three max copies. I did, but yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> the whales did. 
Uh, yeah, no, Red, I told you or, earlier, I don't know if you... The enemy I, by I forget, uh, and I think I said it somewhere earlier in the stream, turn. but yeah, I want to see you specifically try to build this character with Rand's artifact, because I think it's attack. hilarious on this like, character. So his S1 like you, just did 4K to a, uh, a Yufin, who, you know, has got probably at least 2K defense, so... There's a decent hit off of just an S1. Can only be activated once 4K per turn hit during into a 2K turn. defense unit. Consuming 10 soul grants. Yeah, like if you're playing him as just like straight up anti cleave, I think Rand's artifact is like really good because it's just like if he ever goes under 50, percent you steal all their souls and then you just get to go. Oh, cool! I have a free gab now. Thanks. I mean, if you're going to use Rand's or Rand's artifact, why wouldn't you just use this artifact? 15% attacks, 15% attack, right? No, the Rand's artifact gives 15% attack. They changed it, so it gives 15. They give the same amount of attack. It's just, do you want the barrier, or do you want you get 10 souls and your opponent loses 15? So that's um, what I was saying. I was like, oh, you could just mess with somebody. Like, oh, yeah, dude, he, you uh, you knocked my uh, my genuine low. All right, cool. Well, he cuts in front of you now. He steals all of your souls. And then I have enough souls now where I can just soul burn Gab and kill something. So... Where do you use this? My my first thought was Gala Lilius, giving her a nice fat barrier, but you're really going to take damage away from Gala? And you could kind of yeah. say the same thing for Spirit Eye Selene. I, I don't... I just think that this is this is for him. Like, I, I, I know people have been saying to me, Gala, because, like, if you get it, uh, a kill or, like, get them low with the S3, you get the push, but Who I just cares? don't think you even need the... <laughs> like, yeah, just get the kill with Windrider and go into stealth. It's just way right. better than just getting the barrier. So I don't like that. And then for Spirit Eye, like, if I want damage, I'm taking Dust Devil. If I want utility, I'm playing Storm Sword. <laughs> like, I, I'm not playing this over that either of those options. <laughs> yep. I, I, I don't know. I, I think this unit looks like a lot of fun. I think it'll have some niche uses. I think... People will make some watch me do insane, horrible things to people in RTA with this video and get people all hyped about it. And then I think he's going to disappear after about two weeks and no one's ever going to play him again, except for the people just really love him. Uh, look, I hope I'm wrong, I, but I just I just I, I, I don't I, do, I don't I do think too, he's going to be that impactful. actually cool. Yes, he's, he's incredibly actually... cool. He is. Yeah, he's giga cool. I just don't. I, I think he's going to be good, but not great. I think he's gonna be a solid high b to low a tier unit at best and i'm more leaning towards the the high b tier than anything All right, else. look I, I i'm willing to stick it out with the guy like he's probably not going to be anything but mm -hmm. i i really think that there is like on paper he just seems so good he just has a couple of hurdles that he has to kind of navigate around Right. You know what I'm doing with the thief that goes to 1 HP, gets immortal, and pushes himself 50%, bro? You are correct, by the way. This I'm is giving him just Shepherd Bracer. of the Hollow. I'm giving him Shepherd of the Hollow, bro. Shepherd of the Hollow. <laughs> uh, is it Li Lily, Lily Phoenix? You are correct that this artifact is literally is just the armor. 20% or whatever, 24% damage increase would work on a defense pen skill. <laughs> Yeah, I you know, and, and again, caveat for everybody who's like basing their opinion on my opinion, I didn't think Karina was gonna be good. So we're all gonna wait and see on Genua. Dark Blood Keeper. No, actually this Increases is actually him. They just gave him uh uh After using a do over skill, like they, they have a glow up if you will. It's kinda like how Ahmed went from attack. being just attractive to holy shit, she's hot. Yeah, yeah es the artifact Espa, art Espa makes is him not look coming a back, younger, so but Espa's not coming back. This may be the first sign like that they're going to release yeah. artifacts to, you know, it's too bad this is Winter's artifact and not Karina's artifact, but, you know, I guess it is a thief. Maybe the next night they release is going to have a rocket punch. Two turns. Anyo, the, the other reason that they're probably doing that is, um, so in design, when you reach a certain level of power creep, the only things that are viable are just like amalgamations of things that are already broken or established. Because like, you basically, the phrase that we used to use is fighting in a phone booth. It literally just like, once the phone booth gets like really small, like there's just nowhere to go. So you just, the only thing you can do is just stuff that's already like self-contained in that small ass space. Also, man, just remember, Winter's already has crit chance not attack. Yeah. It, it is basically the armament, but this one gives damage. The other one gives crit chance. This fucker just pull a worm out of his glass. Yeah. Well, through the drop rate up banners. Then he looks at it. 
in the, in that depressed, <laughs> despairing <laughs> look, and he puts it back. Oh, this this cool. character is so cool, bro. No, it's so funny, yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, think it's Karina's so funny. Got, Karina's got a boyfriend. China is pissed at Karina. Ain't, ain't yeah, no, legit ain't no thing, way. I mean, yeah. Ain't no way. We'll never see us play again. It's so funny, though. He's like, you need the I Wild Dog no Company. I'm like, mm, I need Did. Maybe you. I sure as shit don't need Dingo. Dingo Sorry, Dingo. Hey, speak for yourself, man. man. You Dingo's yeah. great. Yeah. As a character, not as a kid. Shot. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Like, it's Lucent's favorite character. Yeah. I know that. Get a load of these guys. He's hilarious in every story. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> Dingo is Ichigo, so what the, what the hell do you mean? Yeah. Oh, the voice. The voice. I forgot Dingo's Japanese voice is Ichigo from Bleach. I mean, we're going to ignore that just one hit from um, Yufin took over half of his health. That's what you want, though, because then he gets plan A. And then somebody hits, and Yufin counters, and somebody hits again, and Yufin counters, and now he's Bro, he's dead. in the immortality. It doesn't oh, matter. Immortality. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess you better bring yeah, immunity, point, bro. I should just end Otherwise, this you're now. attacked down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <you>? Nice red. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I never fight a losing battle. You cannot change what is already decided. As Modius, I, I, what they just need to do is they, uh, they need to make it so that if they want to at least huh? have some you semblance, some, some appearance of making it seem like we have a competitive game that's accessible, they have to actually do those things. How's this, you arrogant? Uh, Exu, the thing is, LHC has such bad base stats that I am pretty confident this character one shots LHC even yeah. with mid. I'm not that bad. I mean, he, won, he, he dropped 19k into a heavily midded. Um, yeah, most, L yeah, mo most LHCs are like. Are more tanky than LHCs. <laughs> Yeah, they are. What, you when you when we're talking about HP wise, like most LHCs are around, like the average LHC is like 14.5 to 14.8k, right? The really really good ones are like 16k, but even then, like this guy does. We just mapped it. Like this guy does like 19k if we're if the trailer is to be believed, like on average. Like, she, has, she has built in crit reduction, so it'd probably be like still a 17 to 18k. How much did his well. S1 do there? His S1 corrupt. did like 5k. No, just like, can you rewind it like two seconds? Like where you hit Laya? Yeah, if you. Oh, int, that's his proc. Yeah, if you int and don't that's actually kill good. LHC first, then yes, he's actually. I mean, that's terrible with the gab from Soulburn, but that's pretty good damage. Yeah, I think we got a shot of it without the gab earlier here. What is already decided. Call yeah, together, that's with Arius and 15% damage reduction. Huh? So, you trying to? I, I kind of wish they. I kind of wish they didn't do Carmen. Like I understand why they did it because they were just like, hey, this is what Light plays. So into a 2k defense unit with Gab, he did about 5k. Oh, that was regular attack buff because uh, it, apparently the Gab is after the first attack. Is the Gab before the damage hit? No, no, he just got it right now. See, it just appeared. After I his don't know, Trying man. To start something? I'm pretty sure the order of operations <laughs> gives. See, look, know, he has man. attack buff, and then it becomes gap after the hit. It's like uh, Zio, right? Like Zio. Yeah, like Zio. It's like Zio. It's, it's like Zio. Zio's, Zio's S1 gives you attack buff, it. and then he has it for his S2. Oh. Nothing in this world is free. But eight and a half K. <laughs> Pretty good damage. Anyway, you're you're correct. That's why I was saying like I want to see place. multipliers, but like against a squishy team, like a cleave team, team or like an aggro team, he just seems like he just bodies you if you don't I'll have do a way to shut him down. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't shut him down. What? You think this is a joke? I don't know. I really hope he's good. It's been so long since we've had like an actual good what? male character. It's kind of annoying. Because if he did 8k into 19k, that's. Naturally. <laughs> That's almost enough to kill uh, most lines. These guys. Like, when was the last actually good male character from RTA? Your guard is down. Like, release. Huh. 
Oh, it good. Like Zeo, he'll do this to uh, uh, survive. Oh, Ludwig. Yeah, it was died. Ludwig. It actually wasn't ML5. It's Ludwig. <laughs> No, for real, for real though, that wasn't an ML5. Like I said, I oh, that wasn't an ML5. The last good, good male banner. The last good male RGB do banner unit. You know? Freak. Freak. For RTA, for RTA. For RTA yes. though. Huh? Okay, freak. <laughs> I can't even like refute him because Hinojin exists. <laughs> so. Bihu, that's. That's also Actually, a good one. Can he Dude, be stopped? Be, <laughs> Bihu came out in what, 2022? When did Bihu come out? I still want to make the 30k Aureus Brig with 100 effectiveness. Check this. When, did, when was when was Bihu's release date? Not a lot of damage. Okay, well, it was 2023. It was January of 2023. Okay. Bihu. Well, and nobody liked him on release. It wasn't until relatively recently that people, uh... No, some people, some cultured people, like Red and myself... Hang on, I gotta fix unit. this. Which unit? Bihu. Ah, oh, it's so much better. Uh, dude, Bihu's, like, low-key ridiculous right now. Yeah, Bihu's I know, amazing. But... I love Bihu. Dude, Lakari, Lakari was streaming last week. He literally said on stream that he thinks Bihu's, like, the best, like, one of the best units in the format right now. Draft I mean, mode will be updated to Draft Arena. Experience Draft Arena. Enjoy playing. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Be, be who Tying is into Sue's, uh, strong, huh? Sue's love of card games here. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Mm -mm. To be fair, this draft Time mode is nowhere slots. near as it's nowhere near as robust, complex, or good as an actual like draft like for Magic or other games. But it's close enough. We'll, we'll take what we can get. Right. Yep. Injury set, speed set. Yeah. And look at the you stat even... differences too, right? Resist. Oh yeah, they a put a bit, couple more sets. A whole lot of effect. Yeah. yeah. These are well built. New heroes, Rimaru. Oh, it's injury. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. One's injury, one's speed. Okay, let's see. What do we have? And what's crazy the is the heroes. injury injury one is almost as fast as the speed one. <laughs> Hey, right, bro. that's almost as fast. Hey, that's almost as fast as mine. I'm, I'm waiting for them to put this Judge Kise in here that like no one has. Like I'm looking at the heroes they're adding. This Judge Kise, you know how like they have like the 304 speed like Crescent Moon Rin. I'm like, yeah, ain't no one actually had that built. I'm waiting for them to like Judge Kise 302 speed and like has like 100 crit chance and like 100 effectiveness. I'm like, Let's I'm just see. waiting for them. Like, yeah, they have this Judge Kise that like literally no one has. And it's like you actually sit down, you, you write their stats down, you math it out. like, oh, it's only 475 gear score. So we got 11 p.m. for the first heat. So 11 to 1 p.m. That's trash. We've got 7 in the morning. That's trash. 7 to, 7 to 9 in the morning. And we've got... Oh, whoops. <laughs> and we got 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So, yeah, either right when you wake up, right when you're going to bed, or in the middle of your work day. Yeah, these are actually trash can times. Yeah, it sucks, it's dude. Pretty, like, pretty I, trash can for East, East, EST. I have to yeah, agree. for EST. Because like, that yeah, sucks, because I would actually want to... Central, I would for Central, there. it's slightly better, but for EST, it's pretty garbage. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, really so bad. If, if, if you want to stream this, you got to decide, I'm going to stay up really heckin' late, I'm going to get up really heckin' early, or I'm going to take a day off work or do it on the weekend. Well, let's see. So here are my options. If I do it if heckin' a, if late... If you're a 9 to 5, or at least. Well, if I stream late... there's rewards, Miss Delic. Yeah, if I stream late... The rewards, late, Miss Delic, are the friends you make along the way. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> That's late. why there's windows, because you're going to make so many friends that... They had to shorten it to a window to make sure you met those friends. That's right. Hero chain, so you're allowed to swap out the heroes and keep other people from picking them. That is a good change. It, it's interesting. I like because there's some strategy with it, right? It's not just I don't want this hero, but I don't want my opponent to have this hero. I, I was pretty good at draft mode, and the only time I ever had issues was when I'd get like two draws in a row where all 
three heroes suck, and then you can't do anything. I oh, am like still very, <laughs> very hopeful. I am very, very hopeful that this is them testing the waters for something that they can apply to ladder RTA. Rotating bands, allowing some, some, some differences and changes to the way it goes. Removing units, adding new units, something to shake up RTA a little bit. Because, God, it's, it's so formulaic right now. We need some things to shake it up. Tom's an aider. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the wolf pack. Okay, balance adjustments. We'll breeze over these real quick because everybody's done 10,000 videos on these. But okay, Sue. LQC. Trash or treasure? They make it better, obviously, but is it enough? All right, Sue, thanks for that. Um, <laughs> hey, Sue, how about top model Lulica? Pretty amazing unit, right? Uh, either She's either a $10 <laughs> bill or she's literally a quarter. I think she's a quarter. Mo I tell you what, too. Most impactful unit of 2020 when she was released. She was oh, man. everywhere. Because it was in the middle of the Tempest Surin and Arby meta, right? And she had... Uh, a way to deal with both of them. She Wait. when she came out, people still first picked Arby, mm -hmm. and she gave me the second unit so that I could draft trap Arby's, and I'd hit him with the Blood yeah. Moon Haste, TML, instant win. Oh yeah, I mean if Every you had time. if you had this unit in 2020, you got to win an RTA non fucking stop, and then she just fell off. As better, stronger answers came out, and Arby's and Tempest Surins just vanished. If her, uh, if her mod increase and her soul burn increase does not do a bajillion more damage, she's going to be the same. Pretty crap. Still, just I don't know. Even after the the speed difference is going to be enough to to get her back in. I mean, I mean, reason people don't this, run haste, you know, <laughs> it's just, the speed difference just has to do enough. with an opener, right? And she's not going to be fast enough to compete as an opener unless you can make three hundred plus speed top model Lulica. I guess you could yeah, use her. Honestly, right? that's that's. And then like she's the not going to kill anything anyway because that fast, they're just not going to have the damage. Yeah. But it the just problem sucks. is that even if Fun. you build her like two fifty, two sixty, she just doesn't kill. Yeah. That's the problem with these like fast characters that have no bulk that are, that are not as fast as openers because just the characters that can open in this game are just so detrimental for like like because like all like Lua really needs is like speed and a little bit of effectiveness whereas like top model needs everything right she needs speed crit chance crit damage attack percentage she needs so much more investment. So top model could just. I mean, a Wrecker in Moana just gets to cycle more. I'm excited to use this unit. Yeah. No, yeah. It, mm, it's not just cycle more. Like, that's just there so that that way Abyssal isn't hoser. Mm -hmm. but, it's so that Ran and uh, Narwhal and Lua and whoever you put in front to troll people when you pick yeah. her can take their extra turns that they gave all openers now, and then she gets to take a turn even with you being there. Yeah. Don't don't forget the fact that uh, she gets through immunity now. That's a huge deal on the Eternal Lament. Yeah, that's so that if the if the knock wall gets fifteen percent, driven. This is why I was saying this is the safe money one. I was like, are you kidding me? Like they were just like, hmm, people can't use this because of CR like reduction. Yeah, right, we'll just get rid of that. Oh man, this immunity is stop is a le le this immunity stat, man. This immunity buff, it's le letting it so opponents are allowed to play the game. What if we made it so that they're not allowed to play the game for sure now? Yep. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool, thanks, guys. Us uh, slow like players really deserve. This. I abuse this unit all the time. I'm so excited. Good luck, Zeo, trapping me now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clarissa, what do we do for Clarissa? Seventy percent chance to defense break for two turns when an enemy is defeated. Or reset skill cooldown. That's that's such a great pick or image right there. 
it's actually really good though. So when you think about, it, you remember in the past, like how Tristan, how you would try to one shot with Clarissa, is you would mm-hmm. use that. She would start with S three, and she would have to kill the the smaller mobs so that, that way when she uses her like mace, like the swing, it, it would pick up the kill. But now that it death breaks on top of that, right? Like you have a much easier time. Like the stat Clarissa threshold is yum, lower. Yum. As a result, <laughs> and remember, because you'll get a kill. <laughs> she well, already defense broke, but you still, uh, you still have to get a kill to proc her extra attack to finish him off. I use Clarissa on my team for yeah. Oh, if you uh, didn't have to, uh, yeah. If you didn't have to get a kill, then why would anybody? Yeah, but even then, like, Ivern anymore? Just had, the fact that you'll then go into the next fight with hysteric up is also like really good because then you get another chance at the the higher defense uh, break rate. The one everybody's freaking out about. Falconer Clary. Oh, yeah. Re- they gave exciting. a resource reduction. Really good versus Abyssal. I yeah, guess so you okay. can solo Yuffie. You just no, need I, like 270, 280 speed. Bro. Yep. And I just pray she doesn't counter all the time. No, nah, because she'll get plus 40 and you'll get minus 40, so she'll be zero. No, no, no. I'm saying, but the damage, the damage that she deals from the counters. That's all right. We're tanky and we'll lap and heal ourselves. No, she's still de- she's still defense scaling, <laughs> right? You just don't get you just don't do as much. Like this is just a, a, a extra on her defense multiplier. Yeah, her old rune was basically S1 just uh, increasing the damage on the mod S1. based on her defense uh, more. It ruined my solo clear B thirteen build. <laughs> Oh no, it only takes another 30 seconds now to kill. Damn. Right. <laughs> oh, so everybody that said I need a second um symbol of unity. Well, here you go. It's not it's not symbol though. The thing Damage is symbol wise symbol. it is. Damage wise it is. It's symbol but with uh mit instead of hit chance. I mean, the, yeah, the hit chance, well, the hit chance of hit is the chance, most but the the important thing is it's a raw is six, it's a it's a unconditional 16% damage boost on a 5 star artifact which gives you max attack. It's, it's crazy. Honestly, I think my analogy of it being closer to Draco plate is better here. Like I I, I Draco think plate of is a, so- Draco plate is a fraction of this, man. Yeah, this that's is, only This is damage raw percent. damage increase. This is added to the end of the equation. Yeah, Draco's like just added to a kinda. part of the equation. Yeah. yeah, no, I I got that. I'm just saying for me, the the hit chance is the reason to play symbol. And Draco's like, limited. This is free. I know. Hey guys, what if we put this on our our Genoas, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make that twenty k, fifteen hundred defense violet yep. build on Genoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, there you go. Miss Delic pointed out Sam Sarah's a better, a more. Does apt Sam thing. Sarah have a. Oh. Yeah, Sam Sarah's damage mm-hmm. increase and damage reduction. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's only damage reduction on single target. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is damage reduction, period. It's, it's unconditional. So they make Rage a little bit stronger so that Genoa feels better. Yeah. And you know what? 20% increase to speed plus a speed buff. He, he's going to be zooming. Yeah. It's probably good he's only 113 speed. Otherwise, he'd cycle like crazy with that 50% CR push. Mm-hmm. Boys... Extra ten percent attack on my ambitious Tywin. Game changing. Game changing. On my Mort, bro. Yeah, that's why I forgot Mort has it also after his stomp. <laughs> so yeah, uh, all all of these zodiac changes, green, 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 green. Every, every, everything is just a net positive. Right? I was so confused by this when I got down to the examples because they show the the oh, it's not in this one, but in the preview one, they had like. <laughs> whatever the sign is for Ludwig, and they showed the stat changes. And, Look, like, it, the speed was in it's red. It's green, so it's a buff. I told you, yeah, that's what I was telling you. We got <laughs> green, you got so. extra speed, and you got extra speed and HP for the cost of crit chance. But, like, you have to remember, Tristan, the only characters that have this stat line are Augzots and Harado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so but, you don't accidentally crit ML Selene, bro. True. Bro, where, I need the Nuller Vault video in my life where he's going to play the ambitious Tywin, Genua, 
uh, more, uh, what's her name? The rest of the team. I need that. I need that in my life, bro. I want to see the full enraged team. Let's go. Okay. After the maintenance. When do we get C. Lilia enraged instead of uh, bigger? Bigger. Bro, when, when am I getting a buff to Indomitable? When am I going to get more characters with Indomitable? There's only two in the game, and they're both trash. Man, didn't they really miss the boat on the powder shop rotation? I mean, they would have sold some powder packs if they put, Yikes. um, if they put, uh, what's it called, a uh, Wind Rider in here. With Genua come out, coming out. True. Oh, I, I bet yeah. you, uh, see, I bet you, I, I know there's at least one person in chat, but do you guys actually know the two characters that have Indomitable? Do you guys know what Indomitable does? Hey, man, don't disrespect Fire Corvus like that. For real oh, greater, for real greater, I think we it. go. I think we go to space at the end of chapter five. I think we do. We're talking about the celestial war again. We're talking about, um, you know, the the tree of light, the tree of Genesis is confirmed to be a prima fragment, and I think we get to space pretty soon. Oh boy. Oh, dude. I still feel fire for this. Other improvements. You'll no right, longer I'm be gonna... able to play history after the balance patch. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna say, that is an improvement. I'm going to say it now. By the way, I don't think Fire Corvus deserved a nerf. There, I said it. Oh, he, he did, sir. <laughs> you think so? But they need uh, to undo it now. I, I, when he that was guy nerfed, was a menace, I, man. Bro, I didn't care. I literally killed him all the time in Arena. Like, I literally did not care about that character, even in the slightest. Lies. <laughs> what up, Grader? I mean, I love Dark Corvus, and I love regular Corvus, so I would be fine with him being unnerfed. In fact, I, think, uh, I said I think he be should have been nerfed, but I would have been happy if he wasn't nerfed. I think it'd be hilarious if, for one day of the year, you know, what if it was April Fool's Day? One day a year, they reverse all the nerfs. Every nerf they've ever done from the beginning of the time is undone, including the the two star scorpions and shit like that. Just give us one day so that people can go. I want old Hua back, and then just one day go. Yeah, you know what? I was fucking wrong. And that day, that day, <laughs> I th that I think that, that would day be a every year, hilarious wildening out day. And that day with will the, forever be known. Turn vulnerable. <laughs> oh, bring it. No, dude, that day will just be referred to as Falcon or Clary Day. Falcon or Clary Day, nah. I, you, do you think the, the Holy Trinity would even be functional in today's meta? I think Tiaria would give Terran Regard a run for his money in PvE, but, like, otherwise, no. I don't. What, what about the Laia Carmen teams when they get two turn invulnerable? Oh, God, you're right. I forgot. <laughs> People would dive into the abyss with Jade Wind Scorpion. <laughs> you know what? Don't forget the sad is they would unnerf Scorpion, but he's no longer pullable in the game. <laughs> True. They, they they nerfed Scorpion harder than they nerfed anybody, right? Because Scorpion, they not only nerfed his kit, then they just made it so you can't even pull him anymore. He's like one of the ultimate collector's items if you have him on your account, because you can't even get him anymore. Which character? Jade Wind Scorpion. Jade. Jade Wind Scorpion, yeah. Pour one out for Jade Wind Scorpion, man. You were too good for this world. I still remember that, dude. I was in I was in Los Angeles. I checked my phone and was like, I saw the balance adjuster preview. I was like, what happened? They're like, we nerfed Jade Wind Scorpion. I was like, what the hell is Jade Wind Scorpion? <laughs> Mine too. For those of you who don't know, what Jade Wind Scorpion did is a two-star monster unit who put poisons on things and detonated the poisons. Now, he was, he was can you imagine what detonating poisons would do? You've seen how much damage, you know, detonating bombs and detonating burns does. Poisons are even stronger. He was legitimately one-shotting Abyss 100. Uh, he could literally <laughs> just 100 to zero all boss. Yeah, 100 to zero anything in the Abyss. <laughs> People were making videos of them one-shotting high Abyss floors with Jade Wind Scorpion. They, yeah. they not and only nerfed they it, they removed this all... shit from the game. Oh, don't forget... <laughs> they what's... also make everybody immune to poison? Oh, what's the other two-star that's broken? The one that, like, Mace and everybody was playing? The Soul Weaver? It was the like the Soul... Rock yeah, rock. It was... yeah, it was the oh, Soul Weaver that could... <laughs> it, it, you, you guys, if, if you haven't seen it yet, go go to Valky's YouTube and, and search... Um, 
uh, search up. I think it just has Rock God in the title. That is the best damn video. That's the funniest <laughs> shit he ever made. Rock God was so good. And for those of you who don't know what Rock God's kit was, Rock God's kit was Ahmed. He was Ahmed. They, he was so good that they nerfed him and said, quick, make a limited five-star unit and give it the exact same kit. Yeah, there you go. I, I like Valky's video on it. Oh my god. I just want to play it for a second because this, right. this cracks me season. up. All I know Dude, yeah, was... I need to rock. Rock oh, God. Today and there is a new overlord for Epic Seven. Okay, this this is fine, really boys. funny. We bust out our God. Right. So it's uh, the band here is Amelia. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I'm not too sure for this. Dude. It's I just faster than Steve. It's, it's in, uh, just like the trouble. He was so fast too. Oh God, he was so freaking fast. I, I I made a 303 speed and one and was just ruining lives demon. with him. Oh my lord, dude, this is a rock god stream. <laughs> Are you missing something? You're missing the new god of RTA, Rock God. Hello? Yeah. Like, do you this character was rock like god? not okay. I woke up today <laughs> and I'm just like five DMs. Hello, brother. Have you heard the good word of Rock God? So, Who needs so for, for reference, guys, this is simply a, a soul weaver with oh 117 base speed. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. literally just a soul weaver with 117 base yeah. speed. So it's I, a I don't know. I, I've had discussions. Yeah, with remember that this speed, was right? during the RTA frenzy when they gave all soul weavers 15 speed. Okay. Yeah. So and yeah. Instead of having like Ran S2 S3, it's, it's just a Rose S3. Um, it's like fake taxi Rose, okay? I don't know. I, 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 I knew they were going to nerf him, so I dumped here. every like, single mola I had into because I, I knew it was coming anyway. back. Don't need one. But yeah, the S1 is a two turn silence at like 30% um, chance. Yeah, I've had discussions so with friends, and I'd be curious to know what you guys think what chat thinks. But like, I think personally, Falcon or Clurry, if they unnerfed everything, Falcon or Clurry is the best character. It's so funny. When they're just like, what does a rock do? You go in, and the rock is just a rose. Yeah, like, no, Clary's just knows, still broken, right? I think, you, even, you uh, have to be in, like, even today. Like, I think she got, what, I mean, two, turn, two, uh, two, two extra like, turns on her cooldown of her, her S3, she you can't, and she doesn't have the built-in R&L no anymore. <laughs> like, that would be so cancer if that was still around. I mean, yeah, it would be bad, but I still would. And nobody freaking banned him either, because they were like, oh, it's a two-star monster. He must It's only level 50. He must have accidentally picked it, or he's egoing on me. And then he would go first. Let's go. So it's a 35% push, right? So Ida gives naturally 20%. This is 15%, plus highest attack, which is, I think, my green suit. I'm surprised, like, in Susan no, And his S1 is a silence, too. Is, like, that was the best part. Cleaves. Okay. Never missed a kill in my entire life. Sing, 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 sing! One, cut, and slice. Sing, sing, sing! Let's go. Ooh, that might not kill. That was a little bit spooky, but I think Raw God's got Probably, this. Probably, I agree. Rest in peace, Crimson so Seed. We truly need we you back. Oh, you need to shut the fuck up! We silence? That's a kick kick! Oh my god. This whole video is amazing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is silence. <laughs> Prop, we yeah, need, Flurry, no, we need Flurry might have been bad, but... Flurry might have been bad, but... The one I would not want to fight the most would still be C. Armin. Crimson Armin... Before her nerf was... Yeah, because we, we already talked Horrendous. about the immunity. Yeah, we talked about the immunity and the invincibility already, bro. But what about security state? <laughs> they nerfed that too. <laughs> mm -hmm. It used I to be 25%. Think, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Destro might be good, but I think I think he's going to need the stats? speed more than the crit damage. Stays, I think his, mo that, I think his mods are cool. going to be relatively low. It's all going to be about attack and speed on this guy. I, I, I think 170, 180 crit damage will be fine if you can get over you know, 5,500 attack and over 250 speed. I think that, that that's going to kind of be the build. I, I don't know that you need to go for that high speed. You, you want enough that you'll cut if they pick I don't you fiend. So like 230, 240 probably. Because it's a, still a 25% push even if it's cut in half. That's the mo that was Crimson. That was the most irrelevant nerf I've ever seen. They were just like, huh, <laughs> there was a bug, a bug that made it so that... Uh, C. Zerato didn't need or uh, didn't need effectiveness. We've corrected that. He needs effectiveness now. And everyone's like, "Cool." So this character just can't have bulk anymore. <laughs> Two seventy, so we can cut Elf Mage, right? 
Ja. Yo. Bro, the th sad thing is that with 270, you might get speed RNG'd by, like, some people like Jinte and, and fucking, uh, Elf Mage. Crazy. Issues where the, the text for the skill push, natural bro. restoration on the five star hero, hero mediator Kowarik was not displaying. Where's my five star freaking ML summon ticket? We need an ML selector for this one. Justin, Justin, that's entitlement. Stop. Remember when they did an entire recall on a unit because of a typo in the uh, in the text, and there was no functional yeah. change. That was crazy. It was. Uh, I'm I'm happy for that change, bro. That was like the best thing ever because I had a plus fifteen. Uh, what's her name? Challenger C -Dom, Dominion. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, with C -Dom. I had a plus fifteen Challenger Dominion for my when I used to be a cleaver. You couldn't and I was do it like, for freaking eight nah, though, huh? The yeah. same thing happened with Zerato, though. There was no functional was change. They just never put okay the... on Zio. Uh, if you're going to run him on uh, Bloody Rose, I think it's fine. If you're going to run him on Book. Then you, if you can't get a 200 effectiveness, you may want to go the damage route. Or hear me out, Bloody Rose. Yeah, that's what I said. If you if you don't mind yeah, not that. running them on book, then you can put Bloody Rose on them and you're fine. Yeah, but, I used to do that. Or I mean, 170 is okay. Just understand that there are certain things you're not going to be able to do. At 230 effectiveness, I typically. Silence and push back Destinas, and that feels really good. But, uh, yeah, just depends what you want to do with them. That's it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's my actual face. That's his actual face. Today I learned that, that Evan's <laughs> actually like a, 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 he, he's just a dead ringer for Christian Bale. Yeah, how did you know? Poor Brianus. Yo. Yo, speaking of which, Evan, did you know that, that they are trying to remake American Psycho? And I'm like, please, God, no. Don't oh, do that. Oh, no. Don't That's a, do that. Was it you? It, just, there's just no was, way it could be good. No. Hey, Sue, was it you who didn't know what Brianus looked like, or was that Divine? That was Divine. Okay. Bro, at this point, I... It's been so long since Brianus hasn't come out that at this point, I just want to see the announcement that says, Hello, heirs. We thank you so much for the continued support uh, over the years of playing Epic 7. Unfortunately, the servers are going to close on uh, da, 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 whatever date. As the final gift to you, our players, here's, <laughs> here's Brinus. <laughs> like, like, it's been so long that I just want it to be the character that comes out at, with EOS. With like, EOS. I just want them to drop it with EOS. That's like the only time I want it to come out. If it comes out any time before EOS, it's a it's a waste. Because at this point, it's like, what was the point? Even funnier than that yeah, would be it. if they did ML Brinus before Brinus and then kept Brinus as the <laughs> EOS character. Yeah, the girl, <laughs> the girl in the chair in the uh, in the loading screen animation chapter chapter five. Yeah, that that's ML Brinus. She's the she's the chapter boss. Uh, she's the the. The blue and white robot chick with the blonde hair. She looks like Zero Suit Samus. Uh, and she's in a, a fight in Chapter 3 alongside a bomb model Kana. Mario on to Epic 8. Yeah. And there Brinus. was that funny meme with Brinus. It's so I'm sad because... Because literally Let's she's see. in the game data and has complete animations. Like, it's the easiest thing of your life. Like, if you just w need a character, right? Like, what? what is the whole point? You could just literally be like, all right, we could just make up a Where kit and just ship open it. open image button? Open image. Yo, Uma Musume collab, let's go, bro. There you go. That's Brinus. She's I'm obviously kind of, she's kidding. She's kind of basic, but there's two reasons people really like her. Uh, those reasons are one, she's a Thor Weaver with the Pisces Zodiac symbol, and two, she looks like Zero Suit Samus. Yeah, neither of those are the two reasons I was thinking of. But oh, okay, is it her? <laughs> is it is it her two giant machine things on her? Yes, it is the two giant machine things, man? So good of you to notice that. Oh, okay, cool. I thought you were gonna say boobs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That seems like you're having a very dull conversation. We we're just getting yeah, ready dude. to wrap it up, man, because uh, we're wow, talking about yeah. not a lot, but we yep. we we talked about Clarissa being the most broken thing to ever break RTA, and that everybody should build Clarissa now. 
Dude, and what if that age like about sour milk? Sport model breed? You know, you know, we're like three weeks out from April Fools, right? <laughs> Speaking of which, my I idea need for April Fools' skirt. divine was that Epic Seven should reverse every single buff they've or every single nerf they've ever done for one day. <sighs> Dude, I, I'm worried. I have no idea. Ever. I gotta think of an idea for April Fool's Day because if you guys haven't known, like the last two years I did How to Play Dizzy two years ago, and last year I did How to Play Ran, and I'm just like, how am I gonna out, like outdo How to Play Ran? Because that's like the most insane unhinged video I've ever made. For 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 April Fools, what I, what Spawn Gate should do is that every time you go into an RTA match, uh, your pre bands are forced to be your fastest unit and your highest HP tank. Ghost says how to play keys in the eye. That's actually a good one. I'm not gonna lie. Kana did an entire video where he first picked Kazuna eye and tried to force her. It was pretty hilarious. He mauled it a uh, lot. <laughs> I mean, in in 2024, she's pretty garbage. But like back in like 2021, 2022, like oh you yeah, could back get then she was use. still pretty garbage, dude. <laughs> no, but yeah. you could get some, you could get some usage out of her. Like I had I. Nah, I know man. that you uh, dropped her S three. You laughed your ass off at the uh, at her aping on a uh, um, ML Ken's animation, and th th then then you got to over oh, and I, put her in your lobby. I I usually <laughs> um when I first started doing Abyss guides, I used Kizuna Eye for like my Soul Weaver and all the videos. Even if you go look at, at some of my Abyss challenge ones, I specifically use Kizuna Eye because she's just worse than any other option. So if you could literally clear it with Kizuna Eye, then there's literally no excuse. Just play a, a Soul Weaver. Like, just mm. play anything, and it's better. Egg Sue won your giveaway, Divine. He said, thank you. Ooh, I thought Ooh. you said Sue. Egg Sue. Oh, Egg Sue. Sue, egg Sue, Sue. Try, Sue okay. tried to win it, too. He I damn near won it. the second one, too. <laughs> he almost won the second giveaway I did. Yep. Um, and it's not, it's not for me. I would give it away to somebody else. All right, guys. I'd give uh, it to Red. It's post midnight. I want to get to bed so I can get up early and pull Genoa. Oh wait, that's not till next week. Well, you know what? I'm <laughs> sure we're gonna be all excited about pulling for <sighs> Ilyanov and Zahok. No, Lilibet. Lilibet. Oh, Lilibet. Hell yeah. Lilibet. 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 We need Lilibet. more creation and destructions. <laughs> that's all right. right, guys. Sue, Evan, Divine, I appreciate you being here, and everyone else for the, the subs, the follows, and the support. Thank you, guys. We're going to try to do this every maintenance night where we just roundtable, go over the patch notes, and make it a little more interactive. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I'm going to catch you guys next time. But 